one is pretty even as I thought. I don't, I don't even know why I bought it. That is bias remote. But you're trying to do the opposite here. Seller's remorse. What is seller's remorse? Seller's remorse is when you have that dress that you put no value on and your friend says, okay, you know what? Can I have your dress since you don't want it? And you're like, yeah, it's free. You can just take it. And then there's a party. Your friend shows up. She has judged up the dress. It looks amazing. Everybody's giving her compliments on how beautiful the dress is. And you are like, hey, should I have kept the dress? Why did I give it out? That is seller's remote. That is the spot that you want to keep your ex, okay? Everybody loves something that everyone wants. Everybody wants to be with someone who seems to have their life together, who is out there having a positive impact, being happy, okay? So go out and actually do the work. I hope that you genuinely better yourself and do the work and take photos and put it out there, okay? It is very important there during this time of uh, of making positive changes in your life and tip number three on how to get back your ex permanently is to send a nostalgic test it is very important out of nowhere when you're ready you know that you have done the work on yourself you've made positive changes to yourself and you're feeling confident again and you have all these things going for you maybe you started a new business maybe you're taking classes you've gone back to school maybe you're writing that book that you've always wanted to buy you are in a right you're in the in a happier place in your life this is the time to get back in contact with them out of nowhere send them a few good texts Example, somebody may ask, what is a feel-good text or a nostalgic text? Example, you can say, you can shoot them a text and say, Hey, so, um, there's this new guy who just came to our office and he's, he's, he wears your favorite cologne and it always, whenever he comes in, it always reminds me of you. Just letting you know, have a great day. Guaranteed to bring back some memories and at the same time make put a smile on his face another example of a text you can send is hey so i just found out the lakers are playing this weekend uh at so so and so place and knowing how much you love the lakers i just wanted to let you know it's just reminded me of you a feel good message here what you are doing is you are sparking nostalgia in them at the same time you are you are reminding them yeah that is reminding them of a good time they had with you and it's literally it's it's guaranteed to put a smile on their face and that is what you want to achieve you can also there's another form of text that you can also another type of text message that you can send them is um a message that will again bring back memories and also spark a little bit of jealousy in them listen a little bit of jealousy goes a long way you know You can say something like, hey, so you remember the, you remember last year when we went to Greece? Do you remember that restaurant that we visited? Do you remember the name of the restaurant we went to? Because I'm taking someone, I'm going there this weekend with a friend or with somebody and I wanted to take them there. What happens? You have given them a memory of a good time and at the same time, you begin to wonder, oh, who is she taking there? Who can it be? Is it a new catch? What is going on? This is exactly where you want it to be. This is how you have opened up a conversation. If if this is done correctly, there is a good chance that they are going to shoot you a text that will start a conversation going or they're going to make a phone call to you and it will keep the communication really open. What do you do next? from here when you start going back and forth with them communicating regularly set up a meeting which is the tip number four set up a meeting let me tell you it is not a date don't get excited don't be excited like oh i'm going to get in bed they're coming out with me so no sis it is not a date okay this is this is all a process okay so on the day sis make sure you look fly look pretty and match and look regal as the queen that you are and when you do meet make sure you meet us at a very public area don't go to some local some corner corner restaurant and be in some isolated place no set up the meeting for a very very open area and when you show up keep the conversation very light and hearty do not ask questions like who are you dating right now what is going on the, i was so sad when you left none of that girl just take the opportunity to talk about life what you have been up to the positive 
things and the positive changes that have gone on in your life you can even take the opportunity to say listen this breakup i feel was a blessing in disguise because it gave me time to really work on myself and i think all this has really impacted me positively do you understand that is why it is important to do the work because if you have not done the work the truth is people can see through that he will know you have not done the work you, he might he might even test you if you're the jealous type if you get angry easily and all that they can even say something to trigger you that is why it is very important that during the no contact you take time to do the work let them see something new let them get that selless remorse it's like wow did I make the wrong decision? This girl is winning. She looks different. She looks really beautiful and radiant. It looks like she has her stuff together and she's at the best place of her life. Listen, everybody wants to be with a winner. Everybody wants to be with somebody who is happy, somebody who is radiant, somebody who everybody wants. You understand? You can even throw in that, oh, this relationship, you didn't even know that you still got it like that. Like, this breakup has even afforded you the chance, like, people are coming at you and you didn't even know that you are so hot in these streets you can say something like that okay and if you do it really well there's a good chance that they will give you positive hints they will try to get back with you and make sure when you meet them be a little flirty laugh make sure you laugh at their jokes you know do the little arm touch from now from time to time ladies you know what i'm talking about the little tap on the hand oh you're so funny you know that little let it do all that sis and then the goal here is to make them want to be a part of your life again and you also don't want it to seem like you were working hard to get them to do that it has to they have to believe it's their idea okay so if you do this really well there's a good chance that they will ask that you try this thing again give the relationship another shot and when that happens don't jump and say oh I was expecting this. I was really hoping you would say that. Don't do that, sis. You can say something like, oh, yeah, you still have feelings for them, but you don't know if getting back together is a good idea. Okay? Let them work for it. Let him be the one to convince you. Sit back and let him convince you. Uh, try to get you back. Convince you on why you should accept him back into your life, which leads us to tip number five on how to get back your ex permanently take things slow when you get to that point take things slow okay do not rush just because when if he tells you he wants you back and you play the little younger and then he starts to pursue you again do not let excitement let you overdo things because you'll be tempted to call them all the time text them how happy you are right now don't do all that fall back fall back let him do the work let him convince you let him um this this is the time to to rebuild that relationship this is the time to let him woo you again convince you again pursue you all over again and i have a bonus tip which is raise the stakes sis. this is the time for you to lay down your standards this is the time for you to communicate your expectations this is the time to build that fence again if that fence was short at first, that's why he jumped off. Make sure you build a wall so that when he scales over, where is he going? Where is this? Where? Okay, this is the time to raise the stakes. Let him do all the work because you deserve it. You are queen and you deserve somebody to pursue you. You deserve to be given the commitment that you deserve. You deserve to be loved on. You deserve to be perceived, pursued like you should. Okay? Thank you so much for getting to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this content, hit the like button, comment down below. Sis, you have not yet subscribed. What are you waiting for, sis? You've been watching my videos. What are you waiting for? If you love me, if you want to support me, the only way you can support me is to hit the subscribe button.